This is the TN Ready practice test for math, grade five, subpart two, which means this is calculator possible, and question number 15. The amount of candy sold to seven customers are recorded on the line plot. And here's the candy sold. What this means, each one of the X's here represent a price. So I have a two and a half, a two and a half. This is pounds of it. I need to figure out what this is, and then I'm going to have three and a halves and a four. So I need to look to see what's between two and three. This is the halfway point. So it's broken up into one, two, three, four parts. So each one of these lines represents a fourth. So I'm going to go back and get rid of that. So this is two and one fourth. This is two and two fourths, which is two and one half, and then two and three fourths. If you wanted to keep going, this would be three and a fourth, three and three fourths. So I'm going to now say I have one at two and three fourths. I have three at three and a half. And finally, I have one at four. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven numbers, seven customers. What's the difference in pounds? Now, difference is a math word, and it's not sum, so it's not addition. It's not product, so it's not multiply. It's not quotient, so it's not divide. Difference means subtract. What's the difference? How far apart are they? What separates them? Between the greatest amount and the least amount of candy. So I need to pay attention to this, and I need to pay attention to this. So essentially, 4 minus 2 and 1 half. And the nice thing here is they give you a visual display, and we found out that each one of these is a fourth, so you could actually just count if you don't want to subtract. Whatever, it's up to you. So one fourth, two fourth, three fourth, four fourth, five fourth, six fourth. So we know it's six fourths, and six divided by four gives me one, and the remainder here would be two. So I would say two fourths, which is one and one half. So my answer is A. That would make sense if every four spots that I go is a different, so from here it's one, two, three, four little tick marks between two and three. So if I go up here, one, two, three, four takes me to right here. One, two, three, four takes me to right here. Sheesh. And then two more. So two fours. and gives me one and one half. If you don't want to do that and you want to do the actual subtraction, that's fine. I'm fine with all of that. I'm not against it. Um, to do that, I'll need to do, I can either remember that since each one of these is a half, four would be eight halves, and then two halves, so this is two over two plus two over two plus one over two, one, two, three, four, five. And this 4, the reason it came 8 fourths, by the way, is 2 over 2 plus 2 over 2 plus 2 over 2 plus 2 over 2. That's where this 4 comes from. And remember, when we add fractions, we add the numerators and keep the denominators. So I get 8 over 2 minus 5 over 2, and that gives me 3 over 2, which is, of course, when I reduce it, 3 divided by 2 is 1, 1 left over, over 2. So one and a half. Can you use the calculator? That's a good question. It, if you know the decimal equivalence, then the answer to that question is yes. And it's not that hard. Here's what you're going to have to know. You're going to have to know what one half looks like as a decimal and what one fourth looks like as a decimal. Those are going to be important for you, even though not absolutely necessary in this one. It, it, it's a good idea to know. So I tend to think about it in terms of a dollar. If I break a dollar into four quarters, each one of these is 25 cents. So one quarter, this is two dollars by itself. This would be 225. Two quarters would give me 250. This one up here would give me 275. So on and so forth. But I'm going from four to 2.5. So I do four minus two point five and it gives me one point five. I need to know that means it's one and one half. 
if you wanted to think about it back in terms of money. I know this is in pounds and not in money. It's just a visual cue. 50 cents would be uh, two quarters out of four or one half dollar. All of the points lead to A, so that is the correct answer to number 15.